Taskmaster. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Make the best meal for the Taskmaster. Uh, using ingredients beginning with every letter of the alphabet. You have a total of two hours. Your time starts now. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, write down the, what I want, and then you go to the shops. Woo! Two hours. Myself, eh? Just spread that around. Okay. Yeah. Could you take your sock off, please? Je ne sais quoi, as they say in Italy. Could I join you? I love that. Thank you, Josh. Thank you for no, the thank food. thank you. So I'm just going to go for a little clump. Garlicky bread. Garlicky bread, is it? Rather than no, garlic bread. It's very garlicky bread. So let's have a look at this quad color salad. Hmm. It's nice, and then oh. you and then you hit the nectarine, and it's confusing. <laughs> okay. So the, the um, pizza. You're saying thin and crispy. Hmm. It looks like a pizza, and then you eat it, and it tastes like a lot of ingredients on a on a wrap. That is what pizza is, mate. Right? Dusting of it's double decker and Kit Kat and Jamie Dodger. Oh yeah. Oh, you're up for a treat. <laughs> I mean, it's very minty. <laughs> the dusting tastes like dust. It's the dusting. Mm. So it's very, very nice. Well, thank you, Josh. And it's sort of just like watching a student cook what he would normally cook. <laughs> After eight, Kit Kats, hundreds and thousands, double deckers and jammy dodgy. <laughs> Am I right in thinking you put some crushed mints there somewhere? Yeah, I got some triple X mints. It's one of those new novelty themed restaurants, isn't it? <laughs> you just pop your sock off, sir. I'm going to crush some mints up in it. <laughs> you thought the mints worked very well in the pudding? I did, didn't you? yeah. It was a good meal. He very, he very it... nearly put Night Nurse in it, but. Um... <laughs> The first task, as always, is the prize task. Each contestant has brought in one of their own personal possessions for the prize haul. And this time you've asked them to bring in their most meaningful item. Josh, what did you bring in? In the uh, mid to late 90s, my father started writing a string of angry letters to the local newspaper, which uh, no publisher wanted to make into a book. So he got it published himself. Oh, uh, no. And he'd I Blame the Beatles by Tom Widdicombe. <laughs> You know, and, and, and it, you thought the dictionary would be the most boring book around, right. but... <laughs> and it is a... It's the only copy uh, I've got, which is a personalised book from my father. Have you read it, Josh? <laughs> You've not read your own dad's book. <laughs> <laughs> so meaningful! What is your problem? <laughs> no, I have read it, I have read it. You and read uh, it. Um, it's, it's a real slice of life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, there's the quote for the back cover. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly struggled with the door handle there. I, I wonder if that might be the task. <laughs> Big fan of tea, so this is a real boost to me. Right. Throw a tea bag into a mug from the furthest yeah. distance. You have exactly one hour. Your time starts now. I reckon I'll be pretty good at this. Played a lot of cricket in my youth. It's the longest part of the house. How would I get into the mug? I mean, I'm just thinking about length. I'm not thinking about any accuracy. Can we have a look at Josh? Yeah, let's have a look at Josh. <laughs> I would argue a mug is a receptacle larger than a cup Do you drink tea out of with a handle. So if I was to drink tea out of this before the end of the hour to prove it was a mug, then I think I've got myself a mug. <laughs> I'll just attach the handle like that. So I've got two mugs there, tea bag, Tapes to a golf ball. Oh, God! Oh! Well, it went in, but it didn't stay in. Definitely still a mug? Yeah, of course it is. Ask me if it's a mug when we share a cup of tea out of it later on, mate. <laughs> is the handle still attached? Yes. Is it still a mug? Yes. If, if he was to dispute whether it was a mug, I don't think you should dispute it's a mug, but you've got to cover yourself against these things, haven't you? Oh! I don't think I can imagine it's a mug until I see you. Yeah, I'm going to drink the tea! Oh. 
a lovely cup. British tea. Thank you, Josh. Thanks for the tea. It's all right, mate. Hi, guys. Fill an egg cup with as many tears as possible. You have 20 minutes. Fill an egg. <laughs> dear. Oh, well. Right, let's get my acting out. I, um, so, it's, uh, Taskmaster gets serious. It's time for you to all to get in touch with your uh, emotions. Who do you think we should see well, first? Well, let's have guys? a look at Josh, the, um, the, num oh, the numbers guy. Is this how to do it? Is it no? <laughs> Got me eyes. It certainly feels like it. Ah! Ow! <laughs> That's an actual tear there. I'm really pleased with myself for that. Ow! It's so painful! Ah! Oh, oh look! There. This is genuine pain. I mean, there's all in there. Oh! Dry down. Basically, 20 minutes of slamming onions into your face, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like. That was so painful. Have you ever rubbed onions on your face? No. <laughs> Weird, right? <laughs> I've got a little tip. Don't. Don't. <laughs> it's really painful. It's really impressive. How many tears? Well, it was painful, but not that successful. Seven tears in 20 minutes. There's one tear every three minutes. How right? is that not successful? Well, it's just not very many tears. Like, like numbers-wise, like seven's one of the small... Like, ten and eleven. Yeah, I know I'm counting, <laughs> mate! And that's why I give you my special job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Wow! What the? It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I said, dream about stuff like this happening as a kid. Aliens sending me mail. Get this boulder as far from this place as possible. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Oh my God! And I just need to order a cab. Uh, as quickly as possible to arrive, and then I'll pay for them to drive for an hour west down the M4. Once it's up, gather momentum pretty quickly. Did <laughs> we get it? It's a shame. Man. Do you want to lift the other side, and we'll just, just get it up? Yeah. Just at least get get it started. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. I'm gonna have a crunch cream. We need to put the rock on the van. And please, can you help me put the rock on the van? Okay. <laughs> okay. Here he is. Thank you. Twenty-seven minutes. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> what I was most impressed with with you, Josh, was that you were totally unfazed and no, never at any point did you consider moving the boulder yourself. No, what, what? It's not criticism. I think you're like a general, letting other people do the work. I hate to say it, but I think I'm probably what makes Britain great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see where it was after an hour. It's, uh, it's in Windsor. Ladies and gentlemen, a very clear winner of that task. A brilliant effort by all of our contestants, but the winner, very clearly, Mr Josh Whittacombe. <laughs>